four different sections, guys, because there, there is no one, you, you can't make, you can't um, have a scenario for everything that might be a material fact, okay? So, we break it up into four areas of what you should think about. The first area, guys, is going to be what are the things that, oh, where are we going here, about the property itself. Okay? These are things like structural defects of the property. Um, you, you walk around the house, what's the require, what does the Re Real Estate Commission require you to do when you're going to list a house or buy a house? The very first thing you got to do. The very first thing as a buyer's agent, and someone, let's take a buyer's agent, as someone who wants to buy the house, they're like, I won't buy this house. You need to walk around the exterior of that property. You need to walk around the interior of the property, shine a flashlight in the attic and in the crawl space. Okay? You don't need to get your overalls on, coveralls, and go under in, into the crawl space on, but you got to shine a light in there. You got to familiarize yourself with the property. You got to be able to look and shine that light up on the, and be like, hi, what's up with the stains in that ceiling? You got to you got to find that stuff up. The cracks that are around uh, on the outside and the foundation walls. That talks about those are things about the property. The next the next item on there is going to be what relates to the property. All right. Those are the things like I was talking about earlier, the railroad, the uh, new um, building, commercial uh, development that's coming into the area. Those are things that we're talking about um, as far as relating directly to it. The next is going to be um, affecting the principal's ability to complete the transaction. Now I want to pause here for just a sec because I want to talk about this. Affecting the principal's ability. So we've got two principals, right? You've got a buyer and a seller. What's the seller's, um, how do we find out the seller's ability to perform on the, uh, on the transaction? The sellers. One of the things that we got to do as a listing agent is we've got to have eyes on the balance, their loan balance. We got to find out how much their loan balance is. All right. And so like for our company, the got to get a copy of it. Not one that was 90 days. You don't ask the person, hey, how much you owe? I don't know, Steve. I think I owe about buck 20 on it. No, you got to actually put eyes on it. You got to find out how much they owe because that's a material fact. You're going to have to know whether they can afford to close on this property or not at the price that you're trying to sell it on. You're going to have to come to the table. All right, so that's the first material fact. What about as a buyer? What about as a buyer? What what do you have to do as far as making sure that they have the ability to complete their transaction? What do you think, Tim? Well, you've got to verify that they're actually um, looking at property that they can likely afford and not just show a property that's way beyond what they're yes. going to complete the transaction. Yes! Right, right. It can't, and it's not just a prequal. Prequal are the days of yesterday. Prequal. What's a prequal? Hey, hey, Leonard, I'm Mike 100G. And I don't owe anybody any money. Okay, that's that's useless information, guys. Right? So the pre-approval, the the assumption is when you come into a house, a four hundred thousand dollar house, the assumption for the seller is you can afford that. That's actually what you're kind of disclosing as a buyer's agent to the to the listing side as a material fact. My buyer, who I got in my car, can go ahead and afford that particular property. Yeah. So is that something that uh, Steve is actually? Uh, an M a local MLS requirement, or is that something that... That's state. This is a state. Commission, you, it's a material fact. It's a material fact of whether they can perform. And it doesn't stop just with the letter. Y'all know I'm about. Y'all know when you, you, you're going to tell them. You're going to say, hey, look, don't buy nothing. Don't, go, don't get no furniture. Don't go buy. Just stop. Just stay where you are. Hold tight. And then, then what happens? Like a week before, they're like, Oh, Steve, look at this. I just got my new BMW. Woo! And then you're like, oh, crap. And then you go and you find out with the lender. The lender's like, yep, they're no longer going conventional. We got to go get them FHA. Is that a material fact? Yep, that's a material fact. You got to disclose that to all parties involved. Fourth one, we're going to get more into this in a sec for, after the break. The fourth one is, it says, facts that are known to be of special importance to, the par to each party. That means what's special importance to the buyer or the seller? Couple of things. Um, let's just take the buyer, for instance. Um, what might be important? Well, the buyer's gonna, is got a plumbing business, and they've got three trucks that they need to park at, at the house. We got to check with the HOA, find out if they're going to allow that. They want to have an in-house daycare. They want to have a six-foot privacy fence. Those kinds of things that they say that they're important to them. That's what we're going to need to check out. 
All right, guys, take a break. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Thank you all very much.